Okay, we'll test your common sense. What is the color of the ball in this bag? You don't know? Okay. It's okay, we can look. It's red. Now, what is the color of the ball in that bag? It's blue. Okay, we don't have to look, we know it. Whatever I do here, it will still be blue. But now, imagine that these balls are really teeny, teeny, teeny balls, quantum light particles called photons. Now something amazing happens. If I change the color of this photon, the color of the other photon will change in instantaneously. Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> it's still blue. I'm sorry, I'm not a magician. <laughs> sorry for the absence of dramatic effect, but I assure you that in my quantum lab, I see it happening every day. Every day, photons change colors. So what is the trick of nature? How does nature do that? Well, in nature, a photon is not red or blue. When we don't look at it, it is both the color at the same time. And when we look at the photon, nature selects one color at random and the other color for the other photon. Now, amazingly, if I change the color of the photon here, nature changes the color of the photon there. Well, in the words of Einstein, it's a spooky action at a distance. <laughs> Well, Einstein did not believe in the concept, but as I said, we see it happening every day in our labs. And not only in our labs, we see it happening in the real world, between photons separated by hundreds of kilometers. So a first conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, is that your parents, your teachers, well, everybody, even Einstein, they have been lying to you. The world does not follow our classical common sense. It is weird. It is non-local. So, I find it amazing, and it changes the way I see the world. Something I do here can have instantaneous consequences in possibly another galaxy. Well, but why should you care? Well, a possible answer is that it allows for amazing new technologies for everyday use. In communication, for example, we could use, well, just as an example, we could use something called quantum teleportation. I could teleport the color of this ball another place in the universe. Okay, I will try. I'm not a magician, but I will try. I think it worked. Maybe the lady over there? Could you look in your bag, please? Yeah, okay, <laughs> now it worked. Thank you.